Hey, this is MMD coming at you with tips for super golf on Roblox. What I want to talk about in this video is consistency. The key to winning games is being consistent. And consistency comes down to being safe, right? So what I mean by that is when you're coming up with your shot, a hole in one's great, but if you don't have a consistent hole in one shot, come up with a consistent hole in two shot. And if you can find one, that sometimes gives you a hole-in-one, that's the best shot. It's better than your inconsistent hole-in-one shot. Okay? So you'll see some of that as I go through this. So let me start with the first hole here. All right, so finding a good hole-in-two shot comes down to figuring out how to hit the ball to a spot that you know your next shot for, right? So all you're really trying to do on hole or in your first shot is get it to a spot that you know doesn't have to be even perfect. It's easier than hitting a hole in one shot. And that's what's great about it. Right? So here, a hole in one. I mean, sorry, a uh, hole one. We're just going to get over to a spot that I know I can make my next shot. Since I've practiced this shot so much, I know once I get to it, I can see a straight line. And it makes the hole in two shot for hole one really easy. So the next thing I want to talk about is how do you come up with consistent shots? How do you uh, know what, where to hit, right? And a big part of coming up with your shot is looking at where you start. Super golf has random spawns, so you'll start in different spots. So what you have to do is you look at your ball and you see how far you are from both walls. And that tells you, right, you, you've got distance here and this distance over here. So you're starting off to the right a little bit. And you use that information to adjust where you're going to aim. So again, here, we're going to use the strategy of just coming up with a place where I'm left, where I get the next shot easy. So here we go. And see, I have a nice, easy shot to the flag. All right, so hole three, same thing. I'm going to look at where I'm lined up. And you can see here I'm a little bit lined up closer to the uh, to the left side. And that helps me figure out where I'm going to aim. And as you're figuring out these shots when you're in uh, private servers, what you should do is look at your spawn, find your target, and veer a little bit to the left, a little bit right, over and over again, just seeing how that affects where you end up. Let's see what we do here. all right here in hole four this comes up to my next tip one of the biggest things i do when i work out my shots is i figure out targets right and so for an example um the further, by the way the further away your target is like there's this tree here it's going to move less and it's going to be a better target than a closer object, right? That's uh, as your spawn moves, that's going to be a bigger change in your aim point. You want to have some consistency. So the further off you can get a target, the better off it's going to be. So what I do for this hole is I'm looking at this tree here. And as you line up here, if you see that that tree so what I do here, actually, is I'm looking at this little corner here, and I'm seeing how close the tree is to that corner. If it's close to it on the lineup here, I can use it and I can go there. In this instance, I see the tree is off that corner too far, so I'm going to go for uh, a hole in two instead of a hole in one because a hole in one is too risky. So that's an example of how you can use the things you're looking at to help you figure out your shot. Here's another example of looking at spawn and adjusting the shot. Further 
left I am, the further down the wall I'm going to aim to get where I want to go. Six. I don't have a whole lot to say about this hole except I like to do the dunk shot because uh, just more consistent for me, less chance of the ball rolling around and doing something weird. But uh, you know, this one, everybody has their own strategy for it, it's fine. Looks like they changed the, uh, the back and forth of this uh, panel here. It keeps stopping now. That's something brand new, but not a big deal to deal with. Right, here we go. <laughs> so random now, the back and forth motion on this. Wow. Alright, hole seven. This hole's about timing, obviously, and uh, you just gotta practice. I will say that it depends on where you spawn as to exactly where you aim, and I'll give you this other tip. You're gonna wanna shoot shortly after the wall goes back, so boom, go. All right, hole eight. This one's a little tricky. Don't always hit it, um, but here's another one. You gotta look at the spawn. Depending on where the spawn is, that's going to set your speed. And so there's that little, you use the little checkerboard here to figure out where you are, right? So there's that line. I'm a little bit behind that line. So that kind of tells me what my speed's going to be. Let's see what happens. Hole nine. Um, the key here is hit it hard. I think a hundred works. I go a little softer because if you don't land on the hill, you're actually going to keep your speed. So I'm going to land just before one of those little upslopes on these things going back and forth, and that'll get me a little further to the hole. And um, yeah, let's just give it a shot. And there you go. That is Island. And it gives you a little, uh, <laughs> gives a little insight into some of the things I'm thinking about. All right, everyone, have a good time, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.